for... Welcome YouTubers, uh, should be a nice easy one today or if you're fairly new to guitar or playing rockabilly it might be a little bit challenging but it's definitely going to be on one of the simpler side of tutorials that I normally do and I thought it would be nice to do something chord based that requires very little work from the left hand uh, and just using two strings. So welcome to this two string rockabilly double stop lesson. What I'm going to be doing is showing you uh, how to play over three different chords, the chords we commonly see in rockabilly, which is our one, four, and five. Uh, in this case, we're going to be doing A, D, and E, because in most uh, rockabilly progressions, if you were in the key of A, they would be the three chords that it would be based around. So I'm gonna teach it to you in different positions. I'll give you a little bit of a reference uh, to where the shapes come from or the ideas come from based on simple chords that you might know or will definitely be learning soon if you're getting into this stuff. And if you do want the transcription, it will be available uh, for my Patreon members on my Patreon. But follow along here if, uh, if, you, if you don't want to support me. That sounded really manipulative. It wasn't meant to come out that way. You can also join my website or you can join the membership online here. Anyway, moving on. So the first thing that I did, you would have noticed I'm back here. That's just an A chord, okay? So how is that an A chord? We're actually just playing the top two strings of an open A chord and disregarding the lower strings. So and it's really easy to play. You can use one finger. Now make sure you're on your tip of your finger so you can clear the first string. Don't hold the pick too tight, okay? Nice and relaxed. And don't drop the pick too far in between the strings or it will get caught. And we're doing one bar of A for this exercise. Da -na 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 -na. Then what we do is we move that finger up one fret and we put our first finger on the second fret of the first string. And that may look familiar. That's just the top of a D chord, okay? If you started that with your first finger, just switch to your second finger. And we do a bar of that. So third fret on the second string, second fret on the first string. Particularly tall with your second finger, your first finger, it doesn't matter as long as you're fretting the note. Get nice and close to the frets as well. It'll be a little bit easier. Okay, so then we come back to A. Another bar of that. And then we just lift our finger. Nice and easy. Now, I didn't mention when we lift our fingers with that original section, that would represent an E chord. At the end, I'll show you a little tweak on these that sounds really nice. And I'll also show you how you would put it in a 12 bar, okay? The next position, we play up at the 5th fret. And this is just the top, so we're playing 5th fret on the 2nd string and 5th fret on the 1st string. If I played an A major bar chord, you'll see these two notes at the very top. Okay, so think of these as like triads, but I guess you could call them dyads? Is that what they're called? Two notes, whatever the two version of that is. Do adds. <laughs> Make myself laugh here. So after you do the A, we can do this. We can play the seventh fret on the second string and the fifth fret on the first string. Okay. Now that is an F sharp and an A, which are two crucial notes of a D chord. You can see them in a D bar chord, which was the same as when we did the A chord. Okay, you can see the... The C sharp and the E is what made the A chord when we come up here. F sharp and an A are crucial notes of a D chord. So, so we're essentially playing over the D. Okay. So we'll talk about that when we get to it here. So after you play that D chord, D, A, we're going to represent the E chord again. 
Okay, not as easy as last time when we just lifted the fingers, okay, but still not too difficult. So fifth fret on the second string and fourth fret on the first string. Now when we did that before, we were playing a B and an E, which was the top of an E, open E chord. Nice and easy. And when we do the E here, this E and G sharp, two crucial notes of an E chord, is just like a D chord moved up. Okay, but we don't need the third string because I've made it nice and easy and fun today. The next one, the next passage, we're up here. You can see that the idea we used for E, okay, we're now using up here at A. So this is actually like a D shape, but up at the A, okay, the root note is on the second string, the main note of the chord, the A. And we're just playing the A and the C sharp when we do a bar of that. Then what we do, we can actually do a D by just flattening our third finger. Okay, because that's like the top of a D here. Okay, and then we return back to the A and we do an E chord again based on the A chord idea that we used for A, we used for D, now we're using it for E. Okay, okay, just yeah, just using the two strings. Then we return back to an A chord. Oh wait, actually that's it for that section. What am I talking about? We do return to an A, but it's actually in the next position. I'll just play that last position for you. And the last one, we play A an octave up from our original position. So it's the same thing, but in a in a fretted nature, in a closed idea. Okay? So instead of that. We're now doing this. So 14th fret and 12th fret. Okay, then we move up to a D chord, which is the 15th fret and the 14th fret. Back to the A chord. And then we play that E, which was the same as, but we're playing 12th fret and 12th fret. Okay, again, a closed idea or a fretted idea. And then I finished by doing a little hammer on from the 12th to the 14th, but you don't have to do that. You, you could just pick it. So one really nice embellishment of this lesson is to do something like this. Okay, so the embellishment there was the little, using a little slide in. The other thing you could do Okay, see how I'm use whatever finger is comfortable to play the note just below the fretted note there on the first string. Just experiment with sliding in. You could move the whole idea. Obviously, we can't slide the open strings, but this example will, will work even nice, nicer up here. So. You know, whether you, or you could even slide one note of those. So like. Oh. That's getting a little more crafty and a little more challenging, but it's fun. And I just thought I'd throw a few more fun ideas in there. So we could do something similar up here. A combination, slide a finger for one. Both. One. Both. Okay, so just throwing some ideas out there. This is this is going off the track almost of, you know, what we what the main goal of the lesson was, but can't help it. There's always fun things to add and obviously we can do it here too. We could do the the finger on the lower string. Okay, now if you want to put these ideas into a 12 bar, it's just about playing them for their correct length structurally. Okay, so if we did four bars of A, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, then we'd go to D, back to A, E, 
A. Okay, so in the transcription, I'm just going to do the initial playthrough. Okay, all this is bonus stuff here. But this last one is combining everything together, okay? And I want you to mix and match and, and experiment with that. Um, but I'm going to do this freestyle right now where I play that that 12 bar thing where I do... So my freestyle version of this now uses the different positions as you go along. So give this a shot. Something along these lines. <laughs> That takes a little bit of brain power, but if you put in the time, you can do it too. I hope you enjoyed that lesson. That was a, a nice, short and sweet one. Uh, I Sort of short. It's, I'm looking at the time now. It says 12 minutes. So if you enjoyed that lesson, do check out some of my other content. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't be afraid to jump over onto the Patreon and, and help support these videos. And let me know what you like in the comments or what you thought, uh, you, you know, uh, what you would like to see in the next video or other videos. I'm ready for a coffee, clearly, and some lunch. So I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.